My dear friends today, we gather to talk about a subject that many of us have faced, often with confusion and pain. Why God removes people from our lives. It's a topic that stirs deep emotions, brings back memories, and sometimes even leaves us questioning our path and our purpose. But in these moments of heartache, there's a deeper meaning, a greater plan at work, and it's essential to remember that God's hand is guiding us, even when it's hard to see. Imagine for a moment, the people who have come and gone in your life. Each person left a mark, whether it was a small one or a profound one. Some brought joy and love, while others brought pain and lessons. And as we reflect on these relationships, we must understand that their presence in our lives was not accidental. God places people in our paths for reasons, often beyond our immediate comprehension. Sometimes the people we cherish the most are the ones who need to leave. It's a difficult pill to swallow, but it's often necessary for our growth. You see, God sees the bigger picture. He knows the plans He has for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. And sometimes for those plans to unfold, He needs to remove the people who might be holding you back intentionally or not. Think about a gardener tending to a plant. To help it grow strong and healthy, the gardener sometimes needs to prune it, cutting away parts that are no longer beneficial. It might seem harsh, but it's essential for the plant's vitality. Similarly, God prunes our lives, removing people who might be stifling our growth, distracting us from our purpose or leading us down paths that are not meant for us. When God removes someone from your life, it can feel like your world is crumbling. The void they leave can be overwhelming and the pain can be intense. But in these moments, it's crucial to lean into your faith. Trust that God is making room for something or someone better. Trust that He is preparing you for greater things, things that you cannot yet imagine. God removes people from our lives to protect us. There are situations and influences that we cannot see, but God can. He knows the hearts of people around us their intentions, and their true nature. He removes those who may harm us, who may lead us astray, or who may not have our best interests at heart. It's an act of divine protection, shielding us from potential harm and guiding us towards safer paths. Moreover, God removes people to open new doors. Every ending is a new beginning. When someone leaves, it creates space for new relationships, new opportunities, and new blessings. It might not be immediately apparent, but over time, you'll see that their departure was a stepping stone to something greater. It's like a chapter ending in a book, making way for the next exciting part of the story. God also removes people to teach us lessons. Every person who comes into our lives brings with them lessons we need to learn. Some teach us about love and kindness, while others teach us about resilience and self-worth. The end of these relationships often brings clarity and understanding. It allows us to reflect on what we've learned and how we've grown. It's an opportunity to refine our character and become the person God intends us to be. It's important to remember that God's removal of people from our lives is not a punishment, but a preparation. He is preparing you for the next phase of your journey. He is making you stronger, wiser, and more resilient. He is shaping you into the person you need to be to fulfill the destiny He has planned for you. In these moments of loss, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel the pain and to mourn the absence of those who once were. But amidst the sorrow, hold on to hope. God is with you in your grief, offering comfort and peace. He is the constant in an ever-changing world, and His love for you never wavers. 
Friends, let us remember that every person who enters and exits our lives is part of God's grand design. Each departure, no matter how painful, brings us closer to the people we are meant to be, to the life we are meant to live. Trust in His plan, even when it doesn't make sense. Trust in His timing, even when it feels too soon or too late. Trust in His love, for it is always there, guiding you, protecting you, and preparing you for the greatness that lies ahead. My dear friends, let's continue to dive deeper into this journey of understanding. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of various colors and textures representing the people and experiences that shape us. Sometimes, the threads are vibrant and joyous, and other times they are dark and heavy. But each thread, each person, plays a crucial role in creating the beautiful masterpiece that is your life. As we reflect on why God removes people from our lives, we must also consider the concept of seasons. Just like nature goes through seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. So do our lives. People come into our lives for a season, each season bringing its own lessons and growth opportunities. Some seasons are longer, filled with warmth and abundance, while others are brief but intense, leaving a lasting impact. It's important to understand that not everyone is meant to stay for a lifetime. Some are meant to be with us for just a chapter, or even a few pages of our story. They come into our lives to fulfill a specific purpose, to teach us something valuable, or to help us through a particular phase. And when that purpose is fulfilled, God, in His infinite wisdom, knows it's time for them to move on. It's not a reflection of your worth or their worth, but simply the unfolding of God's plan. When people leave, it can feel like an abrupt ending, like a door slamming shut. But remember, every ending is a new beginning. God is not just closing a door. He's preparing to open a new one. He's setting the stage for new experiences, new relationships, and new blessings. It's a transition, a shift that's necessary for your growth and for the fulfillment of His promises to you. Think about the relationships that have ended in your life. While the initial pain of their departure might have been overwhelming, over time, you might have seen the blessings that followed. Perhaps new opportunities arose, new friendships blossomed, or you discovered strengths within yourself that you never knew existed. These are the gifts that come from trusting God's plan, even when it's difficult. It's also essential to forgive those who have left. Holding on to resentment or anger only weighs you down and hinders your progress. Forgiveness is a powerful act of letting go, of freeing yourself from the chains of the past. It allows you to move forward with a light heart, open to the new possibilities that God has in store for you. Forgive them, release them, and bless them on their journey, just as you seek blessings on your own. In moments of solitude, when the absence of those who have left feels most acute, turn to God for comfort. He is always there, ready to wrap you in His embrace and soothe your aching heart. Speak to Him, share your pain, and listen for His voice. He will reassure you strengthen you, and fill you with peace. His presence is the constant that remains, even when everything else changes. My friends, it's also important to recognize that sometimes God removes people because He is making room for those who will support you, uplift you, and help you reach your full potential. The people who leave are making way for those who will stay those who will walk with you through thick and thin, and those who will be instrumental in helping you fulfill your purpose. Trust that God is aligning you with the right people, those who will add value to your life. Life is a journey, and on this journey we will encounter many companions. Some will walk with us for a short distance, while others will be with us 
for the long haul. Each encounter, each relationship, is a divine appointment orchestrated by God to shape us, to teach us, and to guide us. Embrace each person, cherish the moments you share, and be open to the lessons they bring. And when it's time for them to leave, let them go with grace, trusting that God's plan is unfolding perfectly. My dear friends, remember that God's love for you is unwavering. He knows your heart, your desires, and your struggles. He is with you in every moment, guiding you, protecting you, and preparing you for the incredible future. He has planned. Trust in His wisdom, lean on His strength, and find comfort in His presence. When people leave your life, see it as a sign that God is at work, creating space for something greater. Beloved friends, Let's delve deeper into the essence of trusting God's plan, especially when it involves the painful process of letting go. Trust is not an easy thing to cultivate, especially in the face of loss. But, dear friends, trust is the very foundation of our relationship with God. It is what sustains us and carries us through the darkest valleys and into the light of new beginnings. When people leave our lives, it is natural to feel a sense of abandonment and confusion. You may ask yourself, why did this happen? What did I do wrong? These questions can haunt us, keeping us awake at night and causing a whirlwind of emotions. But let me reassure you, this isn't about your shortcomings or failures. It's about God's divine orchestration. He sees what we cannot see and knows what we cannot know. Imagine for a moment, you are on a journey through a dense forest. The path is winding and sometimes you can't see what lies ahead. You might meet fellow travelers along the way. Some will walk with you for a short distance, offering companionship and shared stories. Others may guide you through difficult terrain, helping you navigate obstacles. But as the journey progresses, some of these travelers will take different paths. Their part in your journey is complete, and it's time for you to continue on your own, or with new companions who are meant to join you. This forest journey is akin to our walk with God. He is our ultimate guide, seeing the entirety of the path. While we can only see a few steps ahead, when He removes someone from our lives, it is not a punishment or a sign of failure. It's His way of steering us in the direction we need to go. Even if it's hard for us to understand at the moment, trust that He is clearing the way for your growth and for the new blessings He has prepared. Take time for self-reflection and prayer. When someone leaves, it can create an opportunity for introspection. Ask God to reveal what He wants you to learn from this experience. Seek His guidance on how to grow and move forward. Sometimes these moments of solitude can be the most profound, offering clarity and deepening your relationship with God. Remember, too, that God is preparing you for something greater. Every person who leaves your life is part of that preparation. They have played their part in your story, and now it's time for you to step into the next chapter. Embrace the future with hope and anticipation, knowing that God's plans for you are far beyond what you can imagine. As we move forward, let's also commit to being open to new relationships and experiences. God often brings new people into our lives who are meant to walk with us in the next season. These new relationships can bring fresh perspectives new opportunities, and deeper connections. Be open to the possibility that the best is yet to come. My dear friends, as we conclude this heartfelt message, I want to leave you with words of encouragement and hope. Life is a journey filled with many twists and turns, and the path is not always easy. But remember this. You are never walking alone. God always with you. 
When people leave your life, it can feel like a storm has swept through, leaving you in a state of disarray. But from the chaos comes new growth, new beginnings, and new opportunities. Embrace these changes with an open heart and a trusting spirit. God's plans for you are far greater than anything you could imagine, and He is leading you toward a future filled with promise and purpose. Trust in His timing. Sometimes we want answers and solutions immediately, but God's timing is perfect. He knows when to bring people into your life and when to let them go. He knows what you need to grow, to heal, and to flourish. Be patient and trust that He is working all things for your good. Find strength in His presence. In moments of solitude and pain, turn to God for comfort. Let His love be your anchor, His peace be your solace. He is your refuge and strength, a constant help in times of trouble. Lean on Him and you will find the courage to face any challenge. Cherish the journey. Life is not just about the destination. It's about the experiences, the lessons, and the growth along the way. Every person you meet, every relationship you form, is a part of that journey. Embrace the moments, learn from the experiences, and carry the memories with you as you move forward. And finally, hold on to hope. The future is bright, and God has incredible plans for you. Each ending is a new beginning, a fresh start filled with endless possibilities. Believe in the goodness of what is to come. Walk with faith, knowing that is preparing you for something beautiful. May you be filled with peace, strength, and unwavering faith. May you find comfort in God's love and assurance in His plan. And may you always remember that you are deeply loved and never alone. God is with you, now and always, guiding you toward the abundant life He has prepared for you. Now, let us conclude this message with prayer. Heavenly Father, You are our Creator, our Sustainer, and our Protector. You know every detail of our lives, every joy, and every struggle. We lift our voices to you, confident in your unfailing love and boundless grace. Lord, we ask for restoration. You are the God of new beginnings and second chances. We ask that you restore everything that has been lost or broken in our lives. Restore our health, our relationships, and our sense of purpose. Bring healing to our hearts, minds, and bodies. Renew our spirits and fill us with your peace. Father, we seek a breakthrough in areas where we face obstacles and challenges. Break down the barriers that hinder our progress and keep us from fulfilling the potential you have placed within us. Open doors that seem closed and make a way where there appears to be no way. Grant us the strength and wisdom to overcome every difficulty and to move forward with courage and determination. Lord, we pray for financial blessing. You are our provider, and we trust in your ability to meet all our needs. Bless the work of our hands and grant us opportunities for prosperity. Help us to manage our resources wisely and to use them in ways that honor you. Release us from the burdens of debt and financial stress and lead us into a season of abundance and generosity. Father, we ask for your divine protection. Surround us with your angels and keep us safe from harm. Protect our homes, our families, and our loved ones. Shield us from danger illness, and any form of evil. Grant us peace of mind, knowing that we are secure in your loving care. Lord, we surrender our worries and fears to you, trusting that you are in control. Fill us with hope and faith, knowing that you have a good plan for our lives. 
Guide us with your wisdom, strengthen us with your power, and fill us with your love. May we always walk in your light and follow the path you have set before us. We thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. We trust in your timing and your ways, believing that you will bring restoration, breakthrough, financial blessing, and protection to our lives. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.